What's going on folks? My name is Joe, aka J to the OE. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now one thing I really, really love about video games is the way it brings so many people together. You know, there's a lot of toxic stuff in the video game community right now, but what I love about video games is that it's something that really, really brings people together, especially back in the day. I remember coming over to my friend's house and, you know, me and him would split a controller and have some cheese it some cheese puffs, or some code red, and just play for hours on straight. And that's some of my favorite parts about video games. People coming over, all playing on one screen, and really this whole couch co-op thing going. Now, what's a co-op game? A co-op game means... Uh, it's cooperative play. There's plenty of games that you go against each other, like fighting games and other games like that. But these co-op games that I'm talking about are games that both of you are on the same team and you're trying to go to the same goal. And so it's either you both lose and the game wins or you guys win and the game loses. So these are my favorite couch co-op games of all time. But before we go any further, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I've enjoyed really getting to know you guys. And I really want to know, hit at the comments, what's your favorite couch co-op game of all time? So we're gonna start going way back. The first, my first favorite couch co-op game, it's probably the first couch co-op game I've ever played. It's on the NES, it's Contra. Contra, man, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, select, start, was that it? It's that original Konami code and I don't think I ever made it past the first level, but I remember playing hours and hours of this game with me and my cousins. Really, you know, two at a time, and whoever died first has to move on and pass the controller around. And, man, yeah, Contra was an amazing um, couch co-op game. I'm actually excited about that new Contra that's coming out, that is coming out for the Nintendo Switch and for other consoles. But, yeah, this... Man, I still suck at this game. I don't think I've made it past that first level, but man, I got so many good memories with Contra, and this is actually why I have it in my collection, just really for the memories. And yeah, Contra, one of the very first, at least in my household, very first co-op games that we ever played and loved. The second co-op game, we're gonna continue with some of the classics, is right here for the NES, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I Loved that cartoon growing up. Um, I still do. Yeah, there's a little bit of problems with it now, but whatever, man. It was still a great cartoon uh, for its time and today. And, man, yeah, I love being able to play as Chip or Dale. And, you know, it was a kind of a side-scrolling platformer action adventure. And it was fun. Me and my siblings and my cousins made it past the first level for this one. I think we almost beat the game. I think I remember battling Fat Cat a long time ago, but uh, I feel like I could beat these harder games or add more, um, I was more accepting of these harder games back then than now. Now I'll probably just get super frustrated, but man, I remember after school, me, my siblings, and my cousins would sit down at the NES and play this for hours and just really try to get through the level. Me and my sister especially love playing this together. And yeah, I don't think we could even get through the first level now, but I gotta tell you, it was really, really fun. And I really want to uh, get my son into this game to see how much he likes it too. So Chippendales, Rescue Rangers. So the next game we're going to talk about, I mean, I have an example for it, but it runs the gamut all over the place. It's sports games. This is like my most collectible piece uh, because it has, what I love about this Madden uh, is uh, it has Head Coach 09 as a part of it, which is really fun for me. But anyways, sports games, Madden, FIFA, um, NBA 2K, NBA Live, I think, yeah, you can play against each other, but me and my friends really love being on the same team, especially uh, FIFA and with basketball, like two-on-two. Two. Yeah, we're going against two other people. Or with Madden, and me and my uh, nephews really like playing that, kind of playing against an all-man computer or online uh, with me and him against somebody else online. And, yeah, it's really fun. Uh, I remember, this is how I, this, it was Madden 95, uh, was everything I learned about football, what a play action play was, what a running play was, and all of that. And it was um, one of the Maddens on PlayStation 1s that me and my friends started playing two on two against each other. And, you know, that's how I learned, 
you know, how to follow blocks, how to read defenses and all of that. And yeah, everything I know about football, I learned from Madden. And that was just really fun, really fun to play with my friends. And my man, those were the good old days coming over and playing Madden two on two and, you know, all the trash talking that you're doing face to face. That was really fun. And yeah, and you can still do that even with the modern games today. Um, you know, you can plug up to eight controllers now on an Xbox and play four V four on um, NBA 2K on the streets. And that's really fun. I think we tried that like one Super Bowl during the halftime. Me and my friends tried that together. And that was still really fun. So any sports games, Madden, FIFA, um, NBA, all of that. I don't think I've ever played baseball co-op, but I think you can. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So that's another one of my favorite co-op games. Going up a few generations, the Halos, you know. And really, I mean, Halo 3 counts too, but Halo 2, Halo 1, I remember coming over my friend's house with a big screen, a 32-inch CRT TV, and really just plugging these in and playing uh, 4v4 with another TV. Oh my goodness, those were the good old days. And, you know, the, the co-op aspect of my team versus their team, it's it's so fun. And I remember I beat this game with my brother. Uh, we went through it together. We didn't know the names of the monsters at that time, so we kind of made up our own names, and we beat the game together. And that was a really fun moment for me and my brother. Um, and, yeah, so Halo is a great couch co-op. Um, and yeah, I, I have fond memories with Halo and Halo 2 and even Halo 3. Honestly, I took a break between video games uh, for a while and then my friends called me and said, hey, Halo 3 is coming out. Go buy an Xbox and buy it. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I think it's time to get back in the game. And so I have fond memories of these things. And you can still play it in the Master Chief Collection, uh, split screen. I wish I could show it to you, but one of my cousins is uh, borrowing my Master Chief Collection right now. So I don't have the box, so I thought I'd just share these with you guys. But yeah, Halo, a really, really great co-op uh, video game. Couch co-op video game. Kind of in that same vein, the thing that dethroned Halo 2 uh, in online and in sales was Gears of War. Gears of War, now this is the Ultimate Collection, this is Gears of War 1, uh, redone for the Xbox One. Uh, but Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, um, that co-op aspect is amazing. Me and my, a good friend of mine actually played through the Gears of War collection online. Yeah, you can play it online, but you could also play it on couch co-op. And yeah, it's 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 a trip. Super violent, super gory, but it, it is really fun. That whole cover and shoot mechanic was revolutionary for Gears of War, and it was a really fun time. Kind of, and again, me me and my cousins played a lot of video games together. And so at the time when this came out on the 360, uh, that's you know they came over to my house and we played Gears a ton of Gears of War. And really, I mean, yeah, there's a deep storyline there. It's a pretty good storyline, but really we just cared about killing those aliens together. And that was a really really good time. So Gears of War, if you're into shooting games. Halo, if you're into, that's first person shooting. If you want some third person action shooting, uh, Gears of War is where it's at. This next game, you could only play with two people. A Way Out. A Way Out is super, super fun. I really didn't like the ending, and I'll show you why. Spoiler alert, by the way. It's about to happen. I'm going to tell you the ending. But A Way Out was really cool. You know, it was really cool how they, um, and at first I didn't like it, but the entire game is split screen. Um, you can do it online. You can do it, and you do it off. Obviously, you can do it on the couch. And this was really fun. This was a really fun game to play together on the couch. The only thing you could do was play this. You can't get out of prison on your own. You need your buddy, and you need to find a way out, huh? But yeah, a way out was really fun. The storyline is that I'm trying not whatever. Spoiler alert at the end. Uh, I didn't like it because it basically turned into a not co-op game and you guys started being you guys started going against each other and then it became a third person shooter between you two and yeah I'm like all right I feel like they just ran out of ideas but getting up there all the different mechanics just to get up there I thought was really really innovative and was really cool so a way out is a great recommendation for a couch co-op game and I think it's on Xbox one as well Another game from that same developer, It Takes Two. On PS4 and on Xbox as well. I have it on, I have it on Switch. 
But yeah, it takes two. It's kind of the same concept. You follow a couple. What I love about this is that the mechanics always change. Um, as soon as you get used to something, the mechanics change. I don't know what those developers were either super creative or they were on something, man. But it was it was kind of crazy. And um, yeah, It Takes Two was a really fun game. Again, co-op. And it follows a story of a couple on the brink of divorce and their daughter uh, really crying about it. And then they turn into these two uh, puppets, two different types of puppets. The only thing that messed up is if you know, you know, that elephant scene. That elephant scene was whack, man. The elephant scene almost made me want to turn it off because that was just so terrible. But, you know, you have to get through it, I guess, even though it didn't work. Uh, but, yeah. But It Takes Two was really fun. I really loved how the mechanics kept changing as you went through the game. And I really think, especially for couples, my wife, my wife really likes this game as well. Um, she's not much of a gamer, but it's really cool uh, because even if you're, if even if you don't call yourself that much of a gamer, they can still have a lot of fun with this. Uh, it's simple enough for anyone to pick up and to play. So It Takes Two is great. Another game uh, that I think is co-op, great for the couch co-op, uh, and I don't have it on physical yet. I have it on digital as Overcooked. The Overcooked games are really fun and on couch co-op. It gets really hectic. It is up to four players, but I kind of call it a, f you need five players there. And that fifth player is key. Uh, so Overcooked is a kitchen game and uh, it gets really chaotic because you're you're uh, cooking in, in different locations like a volcano or under the sea or over the sea or in a boat. And you have all these obstacles and that, and there's up to four players on there controlling uh, each kitchen staff. That fifth player needs to call out the ingredients and what dishes need to be made. Somebody needs to be that expediter because without that, it gets really, really super chaotic with four players. And yeah, we usually in our family, we have that fifth player kind of calling out the dishes and making sure everybody's doing their own jobs. And it gets really fun and really chaotic, especially if everyone's really into it and really silly about it. And yeah, so Overcooked, again, I don't have the physical, I just have it on digital so I can't Show it to you but hopefully i'm um, getting you some clips from here and it's really fun really fun on the couch game another game i talk about so much is uh teenage mutant ninja turtles um i'm putting shredders revenge here just because of the six player co-op but the Cowabunga collection also is really, really fun. This is only up to four players, though. But yeah, any of these beat em up games, Scott Pilgrim versus, depending on what IP that you're really into, my family's really into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, there's also Castle Crashers. There's a ton of beat em ups on the Switch that's great for couch co op. And yeah, but for us, the party game. Uh, if we want to do something together is Shredder's Revenge because it's up to six players. So half could be the uncles and aunts and the other half could be the nieces and nephews and we could all really just have a good time together. So there, but I'm going to stop talking a lot about this because I feel like in my videos, I always find a way to mention one of these turtle games. So the last game that I'm really into right now as a couch co-op is Disney Illusion Island. This is up to four players. It's a kind of a Metroidvania side-scrolling platformer. And yeah, it's fun. It's whimsical because it's Disney. It has that old classic Disney feel. And this has been a really, really favorite game of ours to play when friends come over and they kind of want to play a co-op game. Because it's a Metroidvania, you know, you go to a certain place and you can't go. You have to have a certain power up. And that's how they kind of extend the game. And it's really fun and quirky, especially of what power up they give to each character. Uh, it it um, It's really based on that specific character and so you know mickey will get the boring one and then donald will get kind of the leftover one and that's really the goofy will get the goofy one and minnie will get the cute one and um yeah it's really fun it's really funny too just watching those cutscenes. they're one of my say this is kind of my one of my favorite games to play on the couch co-op so yeah that's it man like uh like i said what are your what are your top favorite co couch co-op games that you guys are playing? Give me some more ideas. I, I We love to play video games in this house. Um, and in fact, I literally just got out of playing a game with my wife and my three-year-old son, uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which is also really fun as well. Didn't quite make the list because I really like these other games, but we really just had fun. Uh, my son didn't really know what he was doing. He was mostly jumping off the ledge, but you know what? Games are supposed to be fun, and so we're just having fun. Uh, yeah, so what are your favorite couch co-op games? I'd love to hear some more ideas. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, or I'll see you another time.